Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about recursion. And uh, in other words, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a number series. And then from there, we're going to look at uh, how you, the pattern, how you figured it out, so on and so forth. So let's go and get started. What you're looking at right now is a bunch of blanks that represent a number series. Now, uh, let me just put some numbers in here just so we can kind of see a little bit. Let's say if I said 1, 3, 9, 27, 81, and then 243. And we're going to stop there. We're not going to go any further. But it, you can see the dots go continue to go. Okay. Now, this is my number series, 1, 3, 9, 27, 81, 243. Now, Hopefully, you're observant enough to know what we're doing is multiplying by 3 to get to every, or to get to the next number, okay? But uh, before we go to that route, let's just kind of go through some, some basic fundamentals of number series. What I'm going to be talking about first is what is called the N. And the N is, it represents the place of the term in the sequence. So, like, for example, I'm going to focus on this 3 for a sec, for real quick. I'm going to focus on this 3. Notice how the 3 is actually the second number of the sequence. So since 3 is the second number of the sequence, n is going to equal 2. Alright, so like this one right here, which is a 9, this is the third number of the sequence, so that means n is going to equal 3. Now hopefully by then you've been being able to pick up the pattern since 27 is the fourth term, n is equal to 4, and then with 1 being the first term n would equal one. All right. So, uh, I mean, one more n is equal to five. Okay. So that's the first thing we need to pay attention to is the fact that n represents the place of the term of the sequence. Now, this is actually pretty important because you're going to be running into a couple of situations where uh, a sequence will be generated off off in a off a particular. Equation. So let's say, for example, we have an equation, which is right here. S of n is equal to 3n plus 1. And we want to figure out what are the what are the terms or what will the number sequence be off of this equation. Well, let me clear this out a little bit so I can kind of, um, so I can kind of work up here. Okay, so here's our equation, which is S of n is equal to 3n plus 1. Now, just a couple of things with this equation, and that is this. First off, this right here that I'm highlighting, this this represents just the, um, it's a label. All right, it's just a label. We're going to keep things simple. Uh, but one thing that I want to pay attention to is this N right here that I just highlighted. Okay? So if I was going to figure out my very first term of my sequence, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in a 1 in for N. So in order to figure out this term here, it's going to be 3 times 1. And I'm writing with my mouse here, so. So 3 times 1 plus 1 gives us 4. So that's the first number of my sequence. Let's, I want to figure out my second number. So 3 times 2 plus 1, that gives us 7. And then 3 times 3 plus 1, that would give us 10. And you get the idea. So based upon this formula right here, if I was to figure out what my uh, sequence is, it would be 4, 7, 10, and it would keep going as I continue to put the ends into uh, the equation. Now, what's great about this equation also is, let's say if I wanted to kind of like fast forward, so like dot, 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 dot. Let's say if I had um, n is equal to 20. I wanted to figure out what my 20th term was in this particular equation here. Very simply, I would just plug in 20 in for n, and then I would solve. And then you would get 61 for your answer. Okay? Pretty simple, nothing too challenging. Let's try something else. So let's say my next equation was s of n is equal to s of n minus 1 plus 5. Now, we are to create, let's just say we're to make our first four numbers in this particular sequence. Okay, now here's what I want to pay attention to, and that is this right here. Okay, this SN minus 1, this label here. This SN minus 1, this whole thing represents what is called the previous number. Okay, so this is the previous, I know I'm writing kind of strange. Remember, I'm writing with my mouse. I apologize. All right, so this represents my previous number. And so in a sequence, it it would be the previous number before the next number you're dealing with. So like, for example, 
Uh, let's say in these, well, also in these type of situations, you'll be always given your first number. So let's just say, for example, my first number in my sequence was three. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to take three and we are going to substitute it for the entire S n minus one to get our next number. Okay. So for our next one, I'm going to write this in green here. It would be our next number would be our previous number, which is three plus five which means my next number will be eight. Okay, now in order to get what this number is right here, I have to then take eight, plug it into here. So now it would be eight plus five, which gives us 13. And then in order to get my next number here, I would have to plug it in there. And that would be 13 plus five to get 18. So the difference between the two formulas that we've gone over is that this formula right here that I'm boxing in green represents how you find the next number based upon the previous number. But in this case here, the one that we just worked on up top, it represents being able to <laughs> plug in any n to figure out whatever number is. See how we, we went all the way to um, term 20? And so we're able to do it with this type of formula because of the fact that we just have plain Jane n in it. But when we have the n minus 1, that's when we're dealing with situations where we have to deal with the first number and build on from there. Okay. But just always remember is everything that, that I boxed out in, well, in red, is that this always represents the previous number. Not the previous number minus 1. Some folks are going to make mistakes. It's just the previous number. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.